lately there's been a big controversy on um, whether uh, velvet antler extract is a banned substance. Um, it, can you test positive for velvet antler extract? Does it cause false positives? And so I'm going to touch on this subject and, and really, um, you know, just kind of neutralize any any concerns or any fears when it comes about um, to someone testing positive for either a synthetic testosterone or, or synthetic growth hormone when it when they're consuming velvet antler extract. So. Just talking about um, what velvet antler extract is, is, is it's an extract derived from actually the deer antler, and it's the deer antler is the only mammal organ that completely regenerates every single year. It's basically the same concept as um, you know a starfish's limb or a gecko's tail or a crab's leg being severed off, um, and it regenerating um, you know in a very efficient manner and causing no harm to the animal whatsoever. So what we do is we take that that organ or that antler and, and make an extract out of it. Um, so there's there's a lot of information and a lot of uh, stuff that's coming out on uh, different types of news outlets and, and media channels when it comes to um, you know, velvet antler actually causing uh, false positives or, or, or giving positive results for steroids. Um, velvet antler extract is not going to cause a, a positive on a drug test. Um, again, what velvet antler is, it's an organ, it's, um, we derive it from a deer antler naturally. We don't add synthetics into it, we don't add isolated IGF-1, we don't add synthetically derived HGH. You can get, uh, you can consume IGF-1 rich foods in the form of raw milk, raw dairy, raw, uh, raw cream, raw butter. Um, also things like colostrum are, are rich in IGF-1, naturally producing IGF-1. So there's also been some information about people testing positive for different types of testosterones, uh, especially some synthetically derived testosterones uh, from taking this velvet antler spray. That is not true. Um, either those companies were tainting their products uh, with testosterone and adding an isolated testosterone in them so that they um, increase the effectiveness with the product, um, so that is does happen in certain circumstances, um, and that's not the case with our extract. We don't we don't isolate anything. We don't add synthetic compounds to it. Uh, we deliver and derive it as how it's produced naturally uh, within nature. Um, also, for individuals that are worried about testing positive for for HGH and IGF one. Um, this is not just HGH, this is not just IGF-1, this is a nutrient-dense food that has a full spectrum of nutrients um, uh, and other protein-based components within them. Um, and so what it's going to do is it's going to modulate your hormone levels, it's going to modulate cell growth, cell turnover, cell reproduction um, within the body. Um, and it's not going to cause someone to test positive for synthetically derived HGH or synthetically derived IGF-1 because it's not going to cause this abnormal tenfold level of IGF-1 within the body or, or HGH in the body. It's going to regulate it, bring you back to a healthy level, um, a healthy level that's um, you know that you were at, at maybe 25 to 35, um, and that's the idea behind it. Not to cause this high spike in IGF-1. Um, it's also going to regulate testosterone levels, regulates progesterone, estradiol, um, and estrogen levels. And progesterone. If I excuse me, if I repeat myself. And what that's um, going to do is it's not going to cause some, you know, large spike in testosterone and uh, some large spike in methotestosterone within the body that gives you a positive or a false positive. It's not going to do that. It's going to modulate hormones. What it does is it regulates sex hormone production and release in the body by allowing your own glands to become uh, re reignited and allowing your own glands, whether they are um, your adrenal glands, your testes, your ovaries, your, your thyroid, allowing your own glands to resume their own uh, natural uh, production of hormones and natural production and release of hormones. Um, and it's not going to cause these glands to be overstressed and overworked by an unnatural production or an unnatural uh, secretion within the body. It's going to modulate them, it's going to allow them to restart back up, reacclimate, because uh, Basically, as you age, it's not that these hormones lose their inability to produce, I mean, it's not that these glands lose the inability to produce hormones, it's the fact that 
they lose the ability to release and, and utilize these hormones in an efficient manner. And that's what velvet antler is doing, is it's, it's modulating all of these glands and all this hormonal production and release within the body. So again, you're not gonna test positive for testosterone. Those were tainted products uh, where somebody added an isolate within there, an illegal isolate. Um, that's not gonna happen with our alcohol-based sublingual products. Um, also, um, you're not going to test positive for a synthetically derived IGF-1 or HGH. There's no synthetically derived IGF-1 or HGH within this product. Um, and what those, what our IGF-1 found within Velvet Antler is going to do is it's going to regulate or modulate IGF-1 and HGH levels within the body.